Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and welcome to what might possibly be the final episode of The Freddy Files. So we are moving on to chapter 6, and I believe we've read this already? Yes, we have. So, we're just gonna hop straight into it. I have no clue what to expect. I'm pretty sure that this is the final chapter. Because once we do this, it'll be 5.30, and then once we do that, it'll be 6. And maybe that's where it ends. I don't exactly know, however. <laughs> oh. Oh, hello. What? So? Okay. This is it. Oh, is the, are we finally in the FNAF 6 place? It's time to end what William has done. Oh wait, is this the end right here? Did I legit just leave it like five minutes away from the ending? It's time to end their suffering. Those little souls trapped in this lab labyrinth. Jesus. I've gathered them up in here. God, this music is distracting me. I can't read and hear music at the same time. And I can finally destroy them. I found the ones that have yet to be destroyed and set free. For in... For instance, those little children, Jesus. Those ones that came together, that come to get... Let me gather myself, guys, alright? The ones that come together as a group on a daily basis. I've always wanted to see them every single day. They'd always brighten up the atmosphere in Circus Baby's Pizza World. Hmm, Circus Baby's Pizza World, you say? Every day, they'd come to play with all the animatronics. Every, em every employee, employer, and manager knew the name of those three. But ever since William made his poor design choices. <laughs> oh, nice little nudge nudge wink wink to sister location. Things were never going in the right direction for them. On the very next day, they all disappeared. Hmm. I never realized that William could create such abominations. <laughs> Jesus. I realized there was a reason why Funtime Freddy had a huge tank. It was quite obvious. Now, a few days ago, some people on the Reddit mentioned that Circus Baby also has a storage tank, and I thought everyone knew that, but some people were surprised by that fact. So, I don't know if I've just got a really good eye, or people just missed that, but she does. And no wonder the other two were always active every now and then. Not to mention Circus Baby. She was bought outside on the first day, brought outside, and was forced to stay inside the next day. It's such a m misery, to be honest. I wasn't the only one who saw Circus Baby capture Elizabeth. Ooh. Now her soul is trapped inside of her. Oops. I wouldn't forget my daughter as well. No more shall I let her suffer as one of William's creations got. It's so difficult to read this when it moves around like that. Like, look at that. I, I, hopefully it's not just me. Oh, I just realized that I'm burning right now. This place is where everything shall end. A maze with no exit. A labyrinth with no prize. They do not even realize that they are trapped. Their lust for blood has driven them in endless circles, chasing the cries of children in some unseen chamber, always seeming so near, yet somehow out of reach. I'm gonna end that there, because I honestly, I'm pretty sure I know that entire speech. They don't even realize they are trapped. For some of them, I believe there is peace, and perhaps war. Although for one of you, the darkest pit of hell has opened to swallow you whole. God, I like how it's literally just restating the entire thing. So don't keep the devil waiting, old friend. Uh, keep burning and burning along with the creations of your own. This is where the story ends. For all of us. For my daughter, the other innocent children, and William. This ends for all of us. End communication. God. Did I really just leave it like five minutes away from the ending? I didn't. What does that say? I can't freaking read that. You something something something. Press X to hide the tips. What? I literally- I can't freaking read that. I see that it says save them, but I don't know where to go. Oh, I gotta like find my way. I don't know where I'm going. I can't read that text down at the bottom. I don't know if I'm supposed. Oh, interesting. I don't know if I'm supposed to be able to read that text. I'm guessing I should be able to if it's there. Okay, I can't go out that way. Uh, what is happening? I feel like. Oh, hey. Uh. Enter. Space. Hey, I don't know what I can do with you. That's great. I, that's awesome. And the tips have also disappeared. What am I doing? So I'm the puppet, and I'm wandering around somewhere. Oh, hey, what's up? Oh, you're green. Oh, ooh, I found another cake. Enter. Space. I, um... 
help. Also, this music is so loud. Again, with all the music in this game. Yeah, like, why are you yellow? I can't do anything with you. Oh, I really have no clue what I'm doing. I can't click. Oh, I started moving around my face cam in OBS. That's great. What am I supposed to do? I literally have no clue what I'm supposed to do. I've just been wandering around. What do I do, game? What do I do? Why? Right, I gotta see if there's anything on the freaking game jolt page. This is annoying. Chapter 6. There is a house in the middle of the map. You can use this to navigate to the children instead of wandering around. But what does that mean? So that child's green, and the other one is yellow? So... Oh, well, no, I can't... Let me see. Here. But what do I do, is the question. So, I... I don't... I had to look up a walkthrough which is something that I should not have done. I wish I was able to read the tips when I loaded in, but no, nope, I guess not, because it was all glitchy and I literally could not read it one bit. So there's magic, or like remnant or something hidden around, and I have to find it. Don't know what that means, but all right. And then I also have to find some cakes. Um, and the, the cakes, oh hey look, another cake. How do I, don't know. I have to give all- hey look, magic. I have to give the cakes to the kids. Oh no, I have to give the magic- no. <laughs> this is really confusing. I have to get- hi, collect all- yes, yes, yes. Oh, this is the- this is the house. This is a bigger map than I first thought. God damn it. Um, yeah, so you have to get the cakes, you have to give them to the kids, and you have to get all three magic. Which- oh hey. So, hey, I don't- so I have a red cake. Well, now I have... You, so you can't pick up two at a time, which is really stupid. Um, so yeah, I need to find the final magic, and I need to find a child with the red icon, which I think was the one over near the house, if I remember where the house is. Oh god, I'm lost. Oh, here, here, here. Collect all the magic. Yeah, but like... I, I want to give you... I want to give you the cake, man. <laughs> so what do I do, because I can't give it to you. I also don't know how to give the cakes, so maybe I guess I'll just look for all the magic first, and then I'll get the cakes? I, I don't know. This is really, really complicated. And it really shouldn't be. Yeah. Oh, hey, what's up? Enter, space, X. I, I'm so, what, how? This isn't even funny at this point. Like, this is, how do I give you the cake? Holy. Well, back to the walkthrough. I literally... Right. I'm gonna restart the game. Because I feel like it might be glitched or something. What the heck? Alright. This is the red child. I have the red cake. Why doesn't it want to eat the cake? Oh, you, are you, you're joking me, right? I had to get all three of the of the magic to set them free, and then I can give them the cakes? Are you kidding me? I mean, I guess that makes sense, but like, God, I wish I could read the text when it showed up on screen at the beginning of the minigame. That would have made this so much easier. Oh, got yellow. Oh, found green. Um... Okay, that's not it. So it is all five children. Awesome. I don't know why I assumed it wouldn't be. You see how the red, it kind of looked like the red? So I thought the cake, the red cake had to go to the red kid? I don't know. Just let me read the text at the beginning and explain all of this game. Make it so much easier. Uh, this is the final one. Oh, please. Oh my god. Thank god. This was annoying. That was really freaking annoying, especially the fact that I had to do my own research just to figure out how to do it. The guide left notes on how to do it. That's how annoying that was. Okay, this was it. This, uh, that was the end of everything. William was finally defeated and all the children were put to rest. I cannot believe I forgot all this. Oh, I accidentally skipped something, goddammit. I accidentally don't believe it. William's gone. My daughter's gone as well. Ouch. So was all those children. Oof. I will never forget this anymore. I think I should take the files with me. The Freddy files. Thank you, my daughter, for putting the children at rest. 
I now understand what I have to do and that after one more shift. Are you really? Are you kidding me? I have to do another shift? Oh my god, I should have seen this coming. You know, 5.30, but once we do this, oh, it's, 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 it's finally gonna be over. Ah, uh, hopefully. <laughs> I enjoy the game, it's just, it's ludicrously hard. Frustrating and annoying. Mostly infuriating, though. <laughs> Hi, Jesus. <laughs> ah, I forgot you a new thing. God. So many people said that that got them, and I thought I was gonna be, you know, fine with it, but I completely forgot that he's a new addition. Oh my god, are you kidding me? And I freaking closed it off the game, that's great. <laughs> Am I dead by Bonnie? Probably not. Should be though, my god. Okay, so, I wanna pop on real quickly, cause I wanna- Hi, uh, I haven't done that in a while. God, you have been annoying. He, Red Bear, has been especially annoying. My freaking god. This night alone, even though it may seem like it, especially because I'm playing so poorly, <laughs> once I started talking, is it's not bad. It's really not that difficult. It's mostly just the same thing over and over, just a little bit faster. Um, like he, I think really the only difficult part is Red Bear, but that's only when he gets in the way of you doing a task, like getting rid of Bonnie or Chica. Um, but this is not bad. This particular section of the game is not difficult, um, at least in my opinion. I think the fact that it has, let's see, number two, okay. The fact that it has other minigames in it really lets it stand out. Okay, that's good. Got one Foxy as well. Um, and those are the difficult ones. Hi. Those other ones are the difficult ones. This is not, okay, I don't know who appeared for, for first. And that is a lot of data right there, so let's just double check what Fox is. Okay, we're good. Okay, we're not good. Like that. That's annoying. Um, and I brought up the fact that the other ones are difficult because the creator of this game um, has made it very clear that they are not changing the difficulty of the game no matter what people say. They made it very clear that this was supposed to be a hard game, and I respect that, I respect that, but it's, I feel like at some points, like, if it's too difficult that I have to look up a guide, that's not good. I shouldn't have to look up a guide. Let, hi, okay, I, god, if I lose because of that guy, ooh, that's nice, Foxy, thank you, I shouldn't have to look up a guide to the game, is what, is what my point is trying to to be. <laughs> I'm bad at explaining things. There we go. I should not have to look up a guide. That's that's what that is my final thought right there. So let's see what the ending is and then we'll close this out because this took way too freaking long. Same thing with this shift complete screen. Way too freaking long. Got a door here. Am I gonna have to bash it down with a hammer again? Or am I just gonna walk out? So this is it. I guess it is. Everything that happened at Freddy Fazbear Entertainment all the events that led to this disaster, it's time for me to end it. No one will now have to hear about any Fazbear Entertainment franchise, because I am going to shut it down for good. I may have to burn it down, oh, I may have burnt down the last location, but I haven't stopped Fazbear Entertainment from returning. They always find a loophole and try to make excuses. Like the VR game they're trying- wow, great, great reference, the VR game, god. Uh, and their new, improved versions of the Fazbear animatronics, it's all just the cover, and the true face of Fazbear Entertainment is still hidden. I understand that I have done. I understand that I have done a mistake. Sure, I was supposed to set everyone free. My daughter and her friends are all resting in peace, and William is sent to burn in the deepest, darkest, darkest pits of a uh, pits of hell. Oh my freaking god! I can't believe I forgot to do one last thing. At least the final thing I had to do on my side. I had to shut down Fazbear Entertainment and remove it from the history of the bank owners, shareholders, and other lenders. That way, no other person would come in, become a manager, and relieve Fazbear Entertainment uh, over and over again. We live, not relieve, Jesus. I will end the cycle. Thank you, my daughter, blah blah blah, and files. What were the files? Did we ever figure out what the files were? I don't know. I couldn't have remembered anything without them. 
they wouldn't just be evidence, but these files would also be an album of the all, all the memories that I've forgotten. So, files of the cases? The missing kids? Now then, let's stop blabbering. Yes, please stop blabbering. It's time to get out of this hellhole. Goodbye, Phasma Entertainment. And goodbye, William. I hope this is the last I'll see from the both of you. All that for a dramatic door open. Freddy Files. Okay. Like I said, good game. I love the art style. And I love, wow, these credits are going to take a long time to go through if it's going to keep up this pace. Jesus. Um, really good game. I love it. I love the different mini games. I love the fact that it brought back the old characters. I feel like a lot of the fan games, especially now, they, they make their own characters and they make their own locations and settings. And that's good. And I love it. I love the originality and the creativity. But it's always good to come back to a fan game that has the original cast of characters. That's great. 3D models, those are all good. The programming, the writing assistance, it's all good. It's just the game itself, it's difficulty, and just how much it spikes. The difficulty spike is freaking huge. I love the voices as well. I love the freaking voices. People that voice the game, amazing job. Again, I respect the creator for not wanting to constantly be changing their game that they made and it's you know it's their game based on what people want and expect i respect that but when it's so difficult and so not misguided but just hard to understand what you're supposed to do that some people have to look up a guide that's not that's not okie dokie all these beta testers i wonder if they had the same issues that i had and that other people are having i wonder if they had to thing is like okay look at all these beta testers and tell me that none of them had this issue where they thought the game was too hard or too difficult i just i feel like there's a little bit you know something maybe they're all their friends the creators as friends i wouldn't be surprised by that fact thank you so much for playing thanks you're welcome <laughs> have a good day you too this credit screen is going on for so long oh my gosh. Look at how slowly that's fading out. You've given me a solid like eight years to read that message. I think I've got it by now. All right, anything else? Oh, well, well, well. I see you have beaten the Freddy Files I have. If you tell me that there was a hard mode, well done, I never expected anyone to reach the end. Well, here we are. This is something beyond my expectations. You can come in handy. Now that you'll be in the game, you think you can help me out? I don't know, have you heard of Project 716? Not even a clue what that is. Probably have, probably have not, probably have not is the answer. You know what it is? Of course not, it is my copy. Of what? Yes, a copy of me is inside the core of the very game. What? What? It was easy for him to slip through the code. What is also the Red Freddy? Oh, Red Freddy. I called him Red Bear, like in FNAF World. I would like you to destroy him for me. The process is so simple yet so complicated. Listen carefully. Oh my god. First of all, you have to find a key. This key is hidden in the closed door. In one of the chapters, you had to put a code in a unlock to unlock a gate. Was that... Was that the one in the back alley, I think? This time, you have to input his name instead. After that, a key will appear in an obsolete area. An empty area of the chapter which was never used. Collect the key, then go to the closed door and interact with it. After that, you will enter a subtunnel of the core. Simply get the key at the end of the subtunnel, and you will be directed back to the menu. Now that you have the key, you can unlock a door that is secretly hidden in survival mode. Survival mode? What? What's survival mode? Click the very bottom of the promise, then go unlock. What? You get directed to an external area of the core. What the frick? To go inside the core, you have to get four more keys. I have to play this game five more times. Are you telling me that? Each key is hidden for each minute game. Oh, extras menu. Thank Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Oh, I just had like a heart attack. Jesus. <laughs> I cannot fit the entire procedure into the string in the external code, so I am limited to only give you a small hint. This is a pretty big hint. You have to figure them out. I hope you remember what to do. Not a clue. Here's a recap. Go to the... I don't need a recap. I just said I paid attention to everything. That is all. I hope you will not forget. Well, I'm sure people in the comments will let me know. Hope you will not disappoint. So. Is that it? Oh, God, it is. So, survival mode. Well, let's check out the extras first. Oh, I've got one store. I thought this was the end. 
Oh, animatronics. Okay, so we got Bonnie, Chica, Fuebi, Foxy. And that's it. I guess that's it. There's nothing beyond Foxy. Jump scares. Bonnie, Chica, Fuebi, Foxy. Okay, audio logs. Really don't care. Minigames. What? 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 Crispy. Oh, no. And it goes so slow as well. Oh god, I fucking hate Flappy Bird. If you guys remember, um, Scott in space, I was so fucking bad at that. Okay, well, that's great. How do I, how do I leave though? You said, oh, oh, there we go, just like that. Okay, so, we'll see what survival mode is, if there's like a little recap of it, if there's a description. Oh, coming soon! Thank God, so I can't even get the thing that it was talking about. If you can't even get it, why is it left in there? I don't know. Anyways, I've stated my point of the game. I love it. The only thing I don't like is that it's very, very difficult. So difficult, in fact, that I had to look up a guide. Which isn't so bad, but is something that I shouldn't have to do, is what I'm saying. I'm not saying you have to change the difficulty. I think it's perfectly fine if you want to keep it as it is. Um, maybe you're working on a new game if that what if that is what Project 716 is. I don't really know, but this was a good game. I guess we'll come back to it when survival mode is done. I didn't even know that there was a survival mode, so clearly I haven't been paying much attention to the devlogs. But we'll see what ha what this game has in store in the future. So that is it for me. I've been recording for way too long, longer than I thought. <laughs> um, so I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.